Hi everyone, so today we're going to talk about the SQL injection basic login bypass. Uh, this is uh, for the beginners uh, who wants to learn what the SQL injection is at the very basic and, and uh, not for the people who already know and, and have already done, been in the in the application security for a long time. So, uh, and the reason I want to do it is because we have many several members who are just starting with the security and they don't know what the SQL injection is. So this will provide a good demonstration for them on how to uh, understand the back-end functionality, how the SQL injection actually works, and then how they can use in the real world uh, to find different payloads and, and, and exploit the SQL injection. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the error-based SQL injection this time. And what the error-based is, based on the input provided by the user, application uh, if application fails to process that input due to lack of sanitization or lack of in encoding at the back-end, it throws some error something like this. And based on the error message, one can able to determine whether the SQL injection exists, and if so, how can one exploit. So that's what we're going to uh, see today. Uh, so without wasting so much time, let's let's go back on to our, our like, you know, demo side, and, and let me show you. So this is the demo site we're going to use for today's uh, demonstration. Of course, we cannot use any real-world application uh, due to some compliance problems, but uh, I'm going to teach you, uh, and actually my intention is to show you the exactly in the back end how this uh, SQL injection or any payload that you provide here on the login screen is gonna, going to be processed in the back end. So you, can, uh, you just don't mug anything or you just don't uh, remember anything you just have to like you know learn exactly on any application that you test uh, how you can reproduce such issues by using various other payloads and mechanism we're going to learn so our goal is to bypass this uh, login screen and and how we want to do it is uh, of course we, as we said like you know we want to uh, generate an error message so we get some information what the back end query that the application is using to bypass uh, like you know so we can bypass this login page so simply you most in most cases you want to use the single code for that and the reason for that is uh, most of the time application uh, in the any database it will in the query it will use it as a like you know um, a single code uh, for accepting the user payload so let me show you the example here so let's say uh, yeah, so here's a good example. So if we so if you take this one, so this is the uh, how like you know usual queries are constructed, and there is a single quote, and here uh, whatever the value that you put in will go in. So here will go the username. Here, this is where it goes the password. There's an opening single quote and then uh, closing single quote. Now, if you insert, let's say, single quote in between, it's going to cause a syntax error because it does not find a matching closing quote for this one. So let's try this. I put the single quote here, and as you can see, we got the error message. Now, if you, uh, of course, we can see many more information here in terms of uh, where the uh, page is and what the programming language is, but this is our main focus. So here we can see exact query, how it works. So now let me put the single code in the password so we get the full query here. All right, so here we got the full query. Let me actually copy this. And let's paste here. So as you can see, uh, our single code been inserted here. And now the application did not, or the serve, uh, database did not find any closing code for this one. And that's why it gives us the error. Now this is the easiest example. Uh, so uh, I, I, I can hardly imagine that you would be able to find this in the real world applications but sometimes it's like you know blind SQL injection where you won't see the error message because that's been hidden but the SQL injection still exists in case of uh, lack of input validation as I said before and or sanitization or encoding uh, or be it like you know not using prepared statement or, or anything now our goal is to bypass this so there are several ways you can do this one uh, easiest way is we have to make this query uh, as in true. So, for example, let's say we know that there is a username which exists as admin here, and we want to make sure uh, we want to log in as an admin without knowing the password. So, what we're going to do is we're going to insert this admin. Of course, we have to close the single quote because, uh, uh, like, we and, and I'll show you why. 
and then we'll add the end statement and then we will say 1 is equal to 1 which is of course always true then we will insert the hash sign which is going to comment out rest of the query so if you copy this and let's say instead of username we paste this one so now our single quote will use to close out this quote right and then we have the end and then 1 is equal to 1 which is always true and then we have the hash sign which is going to comment out everything so pretty much this does not exist so our query should go through uh, uh, like you know successfully so let's copy this and paste into the username and in the password I can like you know do any random thing let's log in and as we know now we got in as an admin user even though we did not know the password okay now other way we can do it is let's say we want to check if we can log in as any other user so let's do one is equal to this is going to be false and what we expect from the application is application will uh, deny the login because this query does not hold true result okay so it says account does not exist perfect what if we do or one is equal to so either we need a username which is name admin or one is equal to so this is going to be the false condition but because there is an or one of this has to be true in our case we know the admin user does exist in the database so first part of the query will hold true so let's see uh, any value in the password and we still got in as an admin user now we can also do uh, one is equal to fun and we can what we can do here is we can just provide the single quote here suppose we don't know the username right there might be cases where you don't know the username you don't know the password and you still want to bypass so we're not going to provide any value here we're just going to close the quotation and we're going to have the or condition and one is equal to one which is always true so this condition uh, will hold true and let's see how the application reacts here so as you can notice we got in as an admin user and the reason for that is when both the condition holds true the server or the database is going to return the first record uh, from the database so on the top of the list whatever the first record is and in our case the first record was for the admin so that's how that's why we got it as a lot admin user even though we did not provide the username if the user uh, would have been something different we would have logged in as in that user right so that's a uh, uh, that that's how uh, 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 when you don't provide the username that's how the backend functionality works so now make sure uh, you remember this syntax you remember uh, this is like you know based on the database if you have other database you might not like you know the hash might not work you might have to do like uh, uh, this to comment out rest of the uh, rest of the query you might have to use semicolon sometimes uh, to end the query and then you have to supply this so there are various version of it and, and be sure to check out in the comment section I have, I have like you know uh, tag the OWASP page which gives you a bunch of payloads uh, which will help you understand different payloads and the next time what we're gonna see is so okay so right now this is super simple right let's toggle security and let's try the same so let me uh, erase this and do the hash again and let's try again so this time we are not able to get through because of some error here so this is something I'll cover it next time how do we bypass this and and again that's again a basic login bypass there is nothing rocket science in that we'll get to the advanced but I still want you to guys to understand what the basic uh, methodology behind this uh, behind this uh, uh, like you know technique is and and once you understand this it will be easier for you to uh, perform the pen testing in the real world application so that's all I wanted to uh, cover thank you so much uh, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and uh, hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and I'll see you guys next week thank you